Did you have any problems this season? Anything that gave you gave you headaches or I did finally learn that if Wave came out, I'd better uh assume Galactus is following. You know, I, I got hit with, with Galactus and Null a few times and then pretty much by accident, although it made me want to use him even more, there, there's only so much you can do. And I'm like, well, great, Null's coming next. But I had Super Scroll. It just canceled out. I, I mean, he, he had some ridiculous uh, score for Null, and so did I. With those two out of the way, I, I had more more points everywhere else. So I, ma- I managed to win that one. I don't know if you go on to Reddit very often, especially the Snap section of Reddit. I do not. Okay. Well, I have learned a term. It's called Boomer Snap. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> the boomer snap is the guy who knows that it, like waits till turn five <laughs> and knows oh. he's going to win. And oh, that's wins. me. <laughs> and then he hits the snap button because there's absolutely no way the other guy is going to win. So he boomer snaps. <laughs> I mean, I probably should change my username to boomer snap. <laughs> Real quick, before we get into our battle, Evan and I are going to have our battle chosen by the people, Evan Bevins. The Remember, people. this was this was a poll uh, yeah. because there were three options. And I don't remember what those options were. I'm about to look. One was uh, heroes versus villains and guys versus gals. There you go. And then the other one was X-Men versus Avengers. The Twitter poll came in and it was... So we had seven votes. Avengers versus X-Men won with 71.4% compared to heroes versus villains and guys versus gals coming in at 14.3% each. So yeah. So that's what, that's what we're going to do. We're going to do Avengers versus X-Men here in a moment. But I think what we ought to do real quick... Let's go ahead and we'll talk about our unlocks and purchases. And I, I talked about one of my biggest purchases, which was Stegron using the 6,000 tokens. And I'm currently using him as much as I can because I want to get my my tokens worth. As of April 5th, my, my collector level was 3,492. At the end of April, uh, it had gone up to 3,983. So just outside of that 4,000 range. Any idea where you're sitting at right now, Evan? Or what yeah, you I, I know where I'm at right now, but I forgot to... Uh... I I didn't check at the end of April, but I'm at uh, 4474 right now. 4474. Okay. And I will say, things have definitely slowed down a little bit for me, I've noticed. A lot of it now is becoming tokens and credits. Credits is fine. I'm okay with unlocking credits uh, because I don't mind getting variants. I I I actually like getting variants a lot. Um, But there's not as many cards out there now because you're collecting so much. Oh, yeah. All right, so my first one that I had listed here was a combo break variant of the leader, which was r- really cool. I, it's one of my favorite leaders that are out there, and it might just be because I unlocked it and it, it looks awesome. I talked about Stegron. I unlocked Black Panther. I unlocked Stature. A Chibi variant Enchantress. Used her a lot. Pixel variant Forge. Bast. I had a lot of promise for Bast and hardly have used Bast since I got him. <laughs> so then we have a Pixel variant Vulture, which I think was one that, uh, I want to say that it was a gift or something like that. I can't remember how that works. Like, it, or one of those ones where I might have unlocked them in the ranking. Uh-huh. Uh huh. So that's the only thing I can think of. I bought the Taskmaster Luchador variant. Nice. Yep. Pixel variant Nick Fury. I got the Max Grek variant of Doc Ock, which I really do like a lot. I just started using his uh, Carnage variant. Although, I'm, although I'm sorely tempted by the Pixel Carnage variant because it reminds me of the Maximum Carnage video game. Oh my goodness! Variant that I use in my with Wolverine is the Pixel variant because it reminds me of the games. <laughs> nice. I unlocked Hellcow finally for the first time. Uh, well, I did. Uh, thank you very much. I'm, I think I bought Drax and then ended up getting the Luchador variant of Drax. So. I see your note there. I haven't there. done any Luchador variants yet. And I, oh. I like Luchador, despite uh, not knowing much about wrestling or Mexican culture. Oh, yes. Yeah, they, lo- they look awesome. I unlocked Hazmat, finally. There you go. Yep. And then I purchased a Jim Lee Colossus variant, because I would love to have all the Jim Lee cards just to say that I got them. I know there's a Jim Lee Cyclops out there. I've seen a Jim Lee Bishop 
that's about as far as I've seen as far as Jim Lee variants. I'm sh- it'd be great if he's done all the X Men because the new that would uh, be... publisher at DC Comics, right? That's right. There you go. That's what I unlock. Clearly, Stegron being my big purchase it'll probably be like months before i ever purchase anything like that again anytime i get a new variant i usually toss i make it the change probably be easier to look at this list and tell you which ones i didn't like the forge pixel variant wasn't the greatest (laughs) i didn't like that one yeah i've got got that one but i'm not impressed i'm just not all right let me hear what your unlocks purchases were this past season pull this uh list up here well i i got we were talking about on the last episode i was saving up for dazzler so i got dazzler like using her with uh, Patriot and Mojo. Mojo. And right. Dazzler and Mojo actually do make some thematic sense. As a prize or a gift, uh, the Gab- Gabriel Del Otto Iron Fist variant. I don't, I don't know if, it, if it's painted, but he's one of the kind of the, like almost those hyper realistic type looks, artists. Yeah, I was going to say that looks really good. Did you purchase that or do you, did you say you purchased no, that? that? that no, that was a prize. I, I haven't been buying a lot of variants. I've been saving to get tokens and things like that so I can. Uh, Although I did just, as we were speaking, by the pixel, talk myself into the pixel carnage variant. <laughs> but because um, I, I mean, I, I end up getting a lot of variants as as prizes that are pretty cool. So I just I, I usually just kind of go with, uh, you know, however that pops up. But uh, yeah, that that uh, those maximum carnage vibes were too strong to ignore. Yes, I hear you. Plus, I think one of the last variants I bought before that was brew. And I love Brew, but, you know, he's on a Brood card, and I just don't use that very often. And it, like, I missed out on getting some set with gold or whatever because I because I had bought Brew. And it's like, again, I, I love Brew the character, but Brew the uh, snap card. <laughs> right. Not so much. So um, I finally got Shuri when I got, I, I don't know, that the whole free season three thing, it, it kept telling me that I was weeks away. And then all of a sudden, it let me get Shuri. And then it told me I was like a week and a half away. And then when that countdown was reached, it reset and said four weeks away. It, it, it was weird. I didn't get much of anything for a long time. I, I got uh, the kid variant of Maximus, who looks slightly less skeevy than regular Maximus, I guess. And then that was that was it for the longest time. And and I saved up and got null. I kept getting hit with null. And unlike you, instead of finding a way around it, I decided if I couldn't beat him, I would join him. You joined uh, him. I, yeah. Although I, I've only uh, I don't know. I've, I've used null a, a few times, but I don't uh, I don't seem to get the maximum value out of him. But then right after that. I was like, well, are they slowing down on the prizes or what? But in rapid succession uh, from just prizes, I got Valkyrie, who... Let me I, let me ask well, you, I was going to say, have you used her very often at all? I actually used Valkyrie and the card I got right after her, Sentry, quite a bit. Okay, Sentry, I, I have not got yet. I've got a Viper deck. I, I, went, on, I went on kind perfect. of pair with those two. Really? Because... Well, the, the cards that, that I at least want to have with Sentry are Viper and Valkyrie. Right. Because, you know, he gives you that minus 10 void, so Viper sends him over there, or you drop Valkyrie, and he goes from minus 10 to 3. Yeah, yeah, good point. I love Valkyrie, the character, because I love the original Defenders. But the card, I was like, I don't know what I would do with that. So I didn't really seek it out, but I got it, and I'm like, well, let's give it a try. And I, she's, she's actually more useful the, than I thought. Yeah, I I could not get her to work very well. I'd always throw her into a deck, and I'd be like, okay, I here we go. I, I, I went about it the wrong way. What I was thinking was like, okay, I've got to have like some ones and twos here and then throw down Valkyrie and turn them all into threes. But you mm-hmm. got a point. If it's a, it's a if you got like a lot of negatives there, if you can go with the negatives, you can turn them into threes. Or if like me, you often find yourself playing Hobgoblin and him not crossing over. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And, and and again, you, you get that out there and let's say it's turn five because she does cost a bit to get her out there. Yeah. Uh, if if you've got Sunspot or something like that, that's sitting at a zero and then he's going to go up that next turn if you don't use any all the energy, which is kind of nice. But uh, um, let's see. Then I got the uh, Ultron variant that has multiple arms, mm-hmm. uh, which is just a nice change of pace because I, I was using Ultron a lot. And I got Mr. Negative's demon form, which. Uh, I mean, the card's useful. Mr. Negative, the character, doesn't do much for me. And, uh, you know, I, I'm on record as saying uh, Doc Ock in a suit is the best Doc Ock. Right. Weird glowy guy in a suit with a sword is more interesting to me than guy with a demon mouth on his chest. But, you know, your mileage may vary. <laughs> I got three more prize variants. Uh, the Pixel Shuri. Okay. 
the Storm Baby variant. I think I've seen that. And then the Leech Future Foundation variant, which I can use the next time I try to build a usable Fantastic Four deck and abandon it minutes later. <laughs> the, when they did Future Foundation, when the Torch died and the Fantastic Four started taking in genius super kids, it was revealed that Artie or Leech one was a genius. And then they brought the other one along because, you know, I guess they were, you know, pair bonded at that point. Mm hmm. Sometimes Leech can show up without Artie. I don't think anybody ever writes Artie without Leech. Right. Uh, every once in a while, I'm like, you know, I should use Leech more often right after he somebody utterly destroys me with him. <laughs> Even with the nerf, it it's still, you know, Leech can just ruin your day. There you go, folks. There's our unlocks and purchases. Now it's game time. It is game time. What do you think, Evan? Are you ready? Are you ready to battle? Are you ready to throw down? It's X-Men versus Avengers. I'm taking the X-Men. Wait, Evan, I thought I was the X-Men. Go ahead. Tell them, tell them what you did to me. I, I've got, it's not a totally classic Avengers deck. Uh, I, I dumped the Wasp out of there. It's mostly classic Avengers, but just to, just to mess with you, I did throw together a deck that was Avengers with an asterisk. And every one of these have been Avengers. Don't don't make me don't make me cite my sources. Just just to see what your reaction will be, I put pretty much everybody in the game who's been an X Man and an Avenger. <laughs> yeah. You know, for thirty some years there was one answer to the trivia question, who's been a member of both the X Men and the Avengers? Beast. And then you could throw in the Defenders if you remembered they existed. Um, but now you it takes less time to list the X Men who haven't been Avengers. That's true. Cyclops and Jean Grey. So Sunspot and honestly, my favorite Sunspot comics were him in the Avengers, at least until Al Ewing started writing X-Men Red. Deadpool, who was on the Uncanny Avengers and is inexplicably on the new Uncanny Avengers that will be debuting on Free Comic Book Day. Oh, okay. Beast. Like Cable was in Uncanny Avengers for reasons. Um, Wolverine. My, my first conversation with my boss was she saw me reading a comic, and she's like, hey, can I ask you something? Wolverine's not an Avenger, is he? And I'm like, well, actually... <laughs> <laughs> well, um, actually, yeah, Rogue. So she was in Uncanny Avengers. If well, I started to say if Savage Avengers counts, then Venom, but also the Flash Thompson incarnation of Venom was on the Secret Avengers. OK, all right. Storm was an Avenger for five minutes. They went to get Black Panther and he's like, no, nah, I'm busy pretending to be Daredevil. But uh, hey, my wife's not doing anything. <laughs> Sabretooth for a whopping six issues before uh, everything got reset for Secret Wars. OK, uh, wow. Jubilee, thanks to A-Next. Okay. Uh, well, I, I guess I did cite all my sources. Um, and then uh, <laughs> Namor, just to keep up the uh, X-Men and Avengers theme. And then Doctor Doom, because for two issues during Axis, he formed his own Avengers team. And also he generates Doombots, and there was a Doombot on Avengers AI, which is an excellent series you should read sometime. Nice. So there nice. you go. And I sent it to you, and you didn't answer. No, I did not. I was watching Scream 6. Once I looked again, down and they were like, here's my deck. And I'm like, oh, nice. Looks yeah, I good. said, we're recording tomorrow, right? Here's my Avengers team. And your response, <laughs> yeah, man, should be good. <laughs> uh, I need like, to pay Jesse, attention I, I'm, I'm crying out for attention here. And <laughs> Pay attention to me. Yeah. Acknowledge right. me and my immaturity. <laughs> I'm gonna but I've got you. a more traditional Avengers deck uh, that I'm prepared to defeat you with now. All right. Yeah. Now, I, I put two decks together here. One, it was interesting because at first I was like, okay, do I make one that is, you know, and, and this is pretty much what I landed on. I was like, well, look, we're, we're playing to win here. We need to come up with something that if they're on the X-Men, that's what I was doing. Okay, I'm going to try and figure out a way of making a team that is going to defeat whatever Evan's going to throw at me. But I also had a team of strictly going by first appearance from beginning to end uh, uh -huh. to fill up the deck. So I'll go ahead and run that down. Here is my first appearance X-Men deck. So we had Angel, Iceman, Nightcrawler. Now, granted, I'm not going in an order of appearance here. I'm going in order of power, <laughs> or I should yeah. say in order of cost. Uh, so Angel, Iceman, Nightcrawler, Beast, Wolverine, Colossus, Rogue, Storm, Cyclops. This one kind of surprised me. Polaris. Yeah. Professor X and Magneto. So those are, and if you look at, uh, if you go to the wiki yeah. and you check oh, yeah, it Polaris out. Polaris predates uh, the only all different X-Men. 
Right. She was in as a, a Polaris was uh, Lorna Dane, uh, X-Men number 60 from 1969. So Nightcrawler, Wolverine, Storm and Colossus, all from Giant Size X-Men. Yeah. Number one. And of course, the OGs. Uh, Magneto ended up in it. Rogue and Magneto ended up in it uh, because they were from the 80s. Apparently, this was after Giant Size X-Men, obviously. Rogue joined in Uncanny X-Men number 171 from 83. And then Magneto was next, joining in Uncanny X-Men number 200 from 1985. And nice. I'm glad we'll because... the same with the Avengers. I'm glad that he got in there because the, the next one I would have had on there, I didn't have any six power cards yeah. at all on that. The next one would have been Psylocke and that <laughs> would have done me no good. <laughs> There you go. So that would have been the original, the original by appearance X Men deck. But instead, I've got the one that's going to put a hurting down on you. So should we, should we go through what's in our deck first? Oh no, no, do no. it as reveal. Okay. Yeah, we we got got to do it as as we're going along. You would you wouldn't want me to come up with a killer strategy to defeat you before we've even started. You've got a good point. All right. Okay. Shall I send you an invite? Yes. Send me a code. All right. Here we go. Oh, you can't even uh, use an X-Men card back? Jeez. Uh, I don't have one, I don't Oh, effort. I don't right. think I have one. Oh, I thought everybody got that one. My bad. All right, here it comes. First right. location, start. Avengers Compound. On turn five, all cards must be played here. Uh, luckily, it's turn one, so let's see. Oh, looks like I've got a uh, home, home field advantage here, but I'm not playing uh, my first card. There. No, you are not. All right, so I laid out Sunspot. I laid out Hawkeye. Hawkeye on Nadavalier. What? How do you say that? Nidavalier. Nidavalier. Cards here get plus five power. And I will tell you right now, Evan, I don't think I saw Quake listed as an X-Man. And I'm upset. It's because she's not. And I am upset. But you know what? She uh, she would she would have counted as an Avenger. She, I think I she and Storm were on the team for the same five-minute period. Oh, so, okay, I played Mantis on Nidavalier to get the bonus for Hawkeye. And uh, you happened to play your card on Nidavalier, so uh, I got a bonus for Mantis, too. Oh, Cable reaching into the deck, pulling out. What could it be? Oh, and, and uh, Mantis copied one of your cards. Oh, no, yeah. I, no I drew a card from your deck. Does she so. draw a card or does she? Yeah, she draws a card. Yeah. And it's just a random card. It's not like the top card. Yeah, draw a card from their deck. So, okay, and now Atlantis has been revealed as the third location. If you only have one card here, it has plus five power. Ooh, buddy. Oh, Evan going to go ahead and lay down Thor. Unbelievable. Yeah, meanwhile, oh, I was like, how did you get Captain America? He's not an X-Man. That's the card you took from my deck. <laughs> yep. I've convinced him to change sides. Captain America is fighting the good fight right now on the side of the mutants. This is oh, not well, isn't, isn't that special? <laughs> uh, all right. Okay, so turn four. Here we go. Got a little something special for you. Uh, you have aggravated me. Spider-Man webbing up Avengers Compound. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can't play any cards there turn five. Just so happens that's the only place you can play on turn five. Yep. And but the good thing is, is I'll just ha I got Sunspot hanging down there. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Sunspot will absorb five of these energy and at least I'll be laying down. Be like I'm laying down a card with five power. Oh, here comes Vision. There's the Vision. And now Sunspot is a five card stud. No, nope, no, that didn't work. <laughs> Try it. Five card stud. All right, so now we're down to turn six. I went ahead and snapped. Oh, did you now? Let's just take a look and see what's about to happen, folks. Thor hanging out there in Atlantis. Wasn't expecting that. Write that story. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure it's happened. <laughs> just hanging out. One guy in Atlantis. All right, here we go. Oh, Magneto. Yeah, you know, bring him over. Spider-Man ever do Atlantis? Don't be. Do not do it. Black Panther. Yes. <sighs> Man, All I did right. the math wrong. I thought that was going to work out. <laughs> uh, so Magneto yes. comes in. Magneto comes in at Atlantis and the, is the only card there. Gives me a plus five boost. And then I grabbed Spider-Man over from Avengers Compound, drug him out. I said, you're down. It's under the sea with you, Spider-Man. <laughs> oh, that, that, that's what I did because I thought, uh, I was like, oh, he's going to pull Spider-Man over there and I win. But I was forgetting about the plus five power. I love Good it. Good thing I didn't gloat prematurely. That would have been embarrassing. <laughs> and that was four, baby. Oh, boy. I was waiting for Mjolnir to get dropped there. Yeah, <laughs> me too. <laughs> Turns out All I'm right. still waiting. What's our first location there, Evan? 
That is Monster Metropolis. You know, the cards with the highest power here get plus three power. And I'm betting that's not on your list of least favorite locations. So do you want to say where that one debuted? Oh, Monster Metropolis? Punisher Volume 8, Number 12. That's right. Frank and... Franken Castle. Frank and, <laughs> I about called him Frank and Frank. Uh, oh, man. All right. So you laid out Hawkeye. I couldn't lay out anything. I had nothing in my uh, hand that I could lay out. Now the Tinkerer's Workshop has appeared, giving us plus one energy, and I'm about to run out of time. Uh, here, have fun with this. Oh, I hope I will. I put uh, Ant-Man down next to Hawkeye, so giving Hawkeye a plus two. And you resp- and then Mantis on the undisclosed location. And you had Iceman Ice blast Man. one of my cards. And then the Beast to, uh, threw him out. I had to use that three energy there. There you go. Uh, Okay, so New York has been revealed as our third location where you can move cards to this location uh, on turn six. All right, here we go. Turn three. Hey, it's Iceman again. (laughs) And Rogue shows up and grabs Ant-Man, gives Ant-Man a big old schmooch, takes takes his power there. All right. I want to bring him out here. I can't play anything. I didn't have any three-cost cards. Oh, here comes She-Hulk. My goodness. At the Tinkerer's Workshop. Oh, and Jubilee brought out Sunspot. Yeah, a big Look fat down. zero. <laughs> oh my gosh, these are not good cards. Um, golly, what am I going to do? Zero zero at Monster Metropolis, thirteen three at the Tinkerer's Workshop, and three to two at New York. You've got three cards sporting a combined three power. <laughs> and Mantis <laughs> is holding her own. Oh, Spider Man, get out of here, dude! Mm. Spider Man dropping a web at Monster Metropolis to uh, prevent you from playing there on your last turn. Okay. Oh, what? I'm an idiot. Dang on it. I don't know what I'm doing here. Um, no, you've never let that stop you before. I don't know how I'm going to win this. Uh, maybe you're not. I don't think I am. Uh, Boomer snap. Oh, Boomer snap me. <laughs> no. Dang on it. All right. So I'm very displeased. Oh, really? Okay. Thanks, Vision. Uh, dang on it. So you moved Bishop over to New York. Smart move. Yeah, I went ahead and played Vision on Monster Metropolis in case you had a bunch of cheap cards to boost Bishop up enough to take out Spider-Man. And then Emma Frost wasn't enough to take you over the top at the Tinkerer's uh, Workshop. I couldn't, I couldn't figure out anything to do with Emma trying to bring her up to... I had to bring up Tinkerer's Workshop, and there's no way. All right. All right, that's fine. Tie game right now. We've each lost four. Here we go. All right, round three. Danger Ooh. room. Oh, home, home field for you. Right. You got to figure out how that 25% chance of being destroyed works because I know it's not just one every four cards. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't or chose not to play anything. You don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I'm a mystery wrapped in a riddle. Look at you go. Yep. Miniaturized, the miniaturized lab. lab. So yep. if you don't play a card here now, you're not going to be able to till turn six. And we both played a card here. You got cable. So you yoinked something out of my deck. I got Black Widow, and you've got a Widow's Bite. Look at you go. So you won't be drawing a card this turn. Oh, Uh, Plunderer's Castle. Plunder Castle, excuse me. Plunder Castle, which, by the way, Plunder Castle, folks, is not on my list. Well, that is, it's named for Lord Kevin Plunder, who you know better as Kazar. I believe it's in the Savage Land. We talked about that, I think, at one point. And then he, he he has a brother who is a villain named the Plunderer. That's right. Yeah. Who Al Ewing decided to remove all character traits from except a fixation on the word plunder. And <laughs> it, it's 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 quite wonderful. Once again, I'm like, why are you using Avengers in your X-Men deck? <laughs> Completely forgetting you just played Cable. Uh, Scarlet Witch coming out. Oh, no! Scarlet Witch! And the Widow's Bite and a rock. Look at you, Jesse. Hey, three cards, three power. And I've got Thor standing atop the Eternity range with four power. How about that? Mm, I don't know if this is going to work well for me. <laughs> I bet you're going to play on the Eternity range. Yeah, that's the only spot I could go. This turn or next turn, just FYI. Right. This is going to backfire. Okay. Beast oh. says, give me back the Widow's Bite, please. Didn't see that coming. And I played Captain America at the Eternity range. Gosh. Now Thor's up to five power. I am banking on the fact that I just don't want to draw any more cards. Go ahead. Go ahead and use Spider-Man. I will. Heck and God. Mantis. Oh, I knew you were going to play there. Uh, now cards. I've got one of your cards. Spoiler alert, it's not. Oh, 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 here we go. Oh, boy. That did nothing. Dream Dimension. So on turn five, all our cards cost more. But now it's not turn five anymore. 
All right. Let's see what happens. Turn six. Four cubes on the line. Oh, yeah. I did snap. All right. Here we go. Uh, you played on Plunder Castle. I put all my eggs in the miniaturized lab basket because, spoiler mm-hmm. alert, I didn't have a six card. Mm, this is hurting. Oh, and Magneto's going to yoink him over. Ah, uh, that's good. Yeah, he still got enough to beat me. Daggone it. Pulled over, he pulled four Captain America and Spider Man into Plunder Castle. And since I played Mjolnir on the miniaturized lab, that brings a whopping total of 18 points. And I was able to get 10 at the miniaturized lab. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, Right, now, if now, I hadn't played, if I hadn't played Mjolnir, you would have won. Right, right. Because we would have been tied at Plunder Castle, and you would have had more more total points. Yep. But if ifs and buts were candy and nuts, then we'd all have a wonderful Christmas. <laughs> all right. So now it's going to be slow going for me since the current count is six to two. Evan in the lead. I mean, we th- th- this could just be the last round. Uh, now, how many games do I got to win? Three more, three in a row here. Okay. Hit him, Ice Man. You know, my beast combo has not worked at all. <laughs> oh, oh boy. So Westview is our first location, which turns into a new location on turn four. But one of my favorite locations has just popped up, and that is the Nexus. And you played Ice Man on Westview, and I've got Ant Man sitting in the Nexus. So that's that's one point not only there, but at all my other locations. Are you are you scared yet? Mm, I've got plans. I've got plans to win this one. Okay. Well, I had... Uh, oh, had oh, play crap. Anything. Oh, daggone it. <laughs> Our third location ends up being Asteroid M, so no heavy hitters are really going to show up in the Nexus now. Oh, boy. I've got one idea here to try and win this. One strategy. I need the card, though. I got a couple strategies. Yeah, let's see what this does. You like messing up people's plans. Oh, really? Okay, wild card. Just All took right, out then. the Nexus. Oh, boy. Scarlet Witch changed it to Grand Central. Oh, and we've got Mindscape, which Mindscape. means we'll switch our hands at turn six. Delightful. Yeah, I've got a hope there. Grand Central's got to come in here at turn five and pull one of my big cards from my hand. Hey, Asteroid M, stop that. So you've got Dagger, Bishop, and Emma Frost on Asteroid M, and I've got four. All right, let's see what happens. All right, so out comes Cable and Armor on Grand Central, giving me a one-point lead there. Oh, there's Iron Man on Asteroid M, boosting Going out of the... Oh, Mjolnir! Hey, look, no. there's Mjolnir! Ah. So we go from an 8 to a 20. Oh, man, I could sure you... Use... Oh, wow. Thanks. Thanks, Grand Central. <laughs> Brought out Hawkeye. <laughs> and you copied Iron Man. Uh, Iron Man has... Seems okay. a bit unfair. <laughs> oh, 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 look at that. Well, dang it. I can't use that. That's the card I wanted. I wanted to use Cloak. I needed, that, I needed that turn five. Oh, Cloak and X-Man? It was a dark X-Man. Well, Cloak and Dagger were both X-Men, and they were X-Men. Dark Avengers, number eight. Okay. Well, crap. I'm running out of time, and I don't know what to do. You can go hit retreat. It's right there in the bottom left. <laughs> Let's see how this works. Uh, this is That's not, not going to work at all. Now you're going to win this one. I was no, thinking I'm not. Long. No, I'm not. Oh, hey. No, all right. No, well, let's no, hear it uh, dang it. It all comes down to math. <laughs> Jeez. Here's my inferior math skills. All right. Well, I started to play Magneto on the Mindscape, but that, that would have, with, with she heck, even without She-Hulk, that would have that would have tied tied you there. Right. And so, and then I didn't even think about you playing a card there. If, if you had played a card anywhere else, Bishop would have boosted up and you would have won. So I didn't think it would do much. I, I would have lost playing Magneto on Asteroid M, so Grand Central was the only place to play him. Well, there it is. I didn't think we were going to tie there. I thought you were going to win, so uh, let's hear it for my bad math skills. Yeah, that was, it all came down to math. I had 11 on Mindscape. We both had 22 on Grand Central, and then 20 to 7 on Asteroid M. 13 beats my 11 lead. Congratulations, Evan Bevins. The Avengers. There was a lot of flip-flopping going on there. I mean, if you look at it, there were some Avengers that couldn't figure out what sides they were going to be on. They kept coming over to my side. Uh, Iron Man showed up twice in the game. I don't know which one is which now. I mean, honestly, there we well, got an explanation for that one. Why? Why would Iron Man be uh, on both sides of the uh, battlefields? You because White Queen uh, got an alternate reality Tony Stark to do her bidding, and she ah! use her telepathy because you know. Emma Perfect. dresses how she dresses, and Tony is who he is. 
<laughs> Perfect. She's the actually Avengers. going to be a supporting character in Iron Man now, or maybe not supporting character, co-star. They're roping Iron Man into the X-Men storyline. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm. Congratulations, Evan. Well, thank you. The Avengers have won. You are the champion. We'll have to throw. I only had I had one good game right there at the beginning, and that was when Sunspot was involved, and that was it. Sunspot never showed up again. I don't think. We do have oh to, well, wait a second. Maybe do you have to did. give Magneto credit for shifting sides and helping the Avengers out. That's true. That is true. And the mindscape's not so bad after all. Well, we're going to find out here in a few. Thanks a lot for joining us. Make sure to tune in tomorrow for the next installment of Snap Material.